G'day everybody, welcome back to Fix It and Post. My name is Nick. Today we're gonna to look at how to animate this text following a path. It doesn't matter what path it is, you can set the path or it can follow the path of a shape that you've already created. So let's get started. All right, so the first technique we're gonna look at is basically how to set our own path by ourselves. So let's type in the text. Okay, so text follows path. And what we can do now is that we're gonna try and get the text to basically go around the shapes themselves. So we're gonna highlight the text with the pen tool selected. I'm gonna actually draw a path out uh, to see if we can actually get it to follow the path around the text. Like this is a bit jank, but you get the idea. So if you go and check the text tool at the moment, you can see that there is a mask there. So what we can go is go to the text tool and then twirl down and go to path options and select mask one and there you go it follows the path now uh, it's a little bit cramped but it's okay so but we can actually drag this last first and last margin uh, if you wanted to follow the path so we're going to set a keyframe we'll pull it off screen go first margin oops we'll actually go to the beginning of the text here and go to four seconds and then we'll select and then we'll just make it animate go towards the end like so and that is pretty much it all right let's jump into method number two so we've got the hill here basically so what we want to do here is we want to go to the path option uh, so we go to the contents we go to the shape and then go to path and what we're going to do is we're just going to go edit and then copy and now we're going to go down to the text property and we're going to select the mark the pen tool here and just click a point on the uh, text as it is and that's it that will automatically start making a mask so you can see there's a mask here right now and what we're going to do is we go down and twirl down to the mask and then we're going to paste the data that we got from the uh, hill uh, path and then we'll do that now there you go it's perfectly contoured to what we just had if we go down to text and go down to path options you can select a path and we'll select mask one and as you can see the text has disappeared now we're going to solve i'm going to solo this with this little check error and i'm going to show you where the text is now you can see it's basically you can't see it anywhere but that's because it's actually here hidden in this corner so what we need to do is adjust the last margin so let's go back as far as we can and there you can see there is the text there but you can see it's upside down so that's no good so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on reverse path and that'll actually fix that up for us but as you can see it's actually gone the other way so we'll just adjust the margin until we get to where we want to be now as you can imagine if you guys are keeping up basically we can keyframe all this so let's uh, set a first margin so we'll set the keyframe there and we'll make it come off screen so let's bring that across and then let's go to about four seconds, or you can set it as long as you like, and let's bring that forward and let's make it go all the way across to the other edge. And as you can see, now that we've entered that, it's now contouring to that curve. And if we turn everything back on, you can see that it actually goes along that path very nicely. And speaking of cool text effects, you can get my Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description below with 22 text effectors that you can drag into Premiere. And best of all, no After Effects skills necessary. You just drag them from your Essential Graphics panel and drag them onto the timeline and they're ready to go. And besides, wouldn't you rather be spending your time doing something more meaningful than creating text animations for your videos? I mean, look, you could be doing so many other things. You could be going to the beach. You could be hanging out with loved ones, hanging out with your friends. You could be watching a movie or a series that you've been desperately trying to catch up on the possibilities are endless so grab that lyric video creator kit in the description below and let's get started all right let's jump into method number three now in this version it's a little bit harder because when you go down to the shape tool this was created with a shape if it's not easily selectable unfortunately there's no path to select with the uh, text selected let's go to the uh, to the mask tool the ellipse tool here uh, there's a like shape tools here and we're gonna draw a circle around and holding shift so it gives you a perfect circle. We're gonna draw a circle around the thing. Now, if it's not quite where you want it to be, I would suggest, um, like if it's not dead center, what I would suggest is go bring the title safe action up here in this corner here, this little crosshairs. And then let's bring this right to the dead center of, you know, so it's right dead center because this circle is dead center. All right. Now, like we did before, Let's go to, let's select none on the mask and then we'll go to path options and then we'll select mask one. And again, we've got that same issue where we have the 
what do you call it? it's on the outside so i mean it's on the inside and we want to reverse that so we're, let's reverse the path and now it's on the outside and again we can just keyframe the circle the text going round and round but if we're a little bit more savvy we can use expressions to make it go around continuously so i'm going to hold option or alt and click on the last margin and i'm going to type time times 100 and this will just make the text go around very slowly um let's make it say let's make it 500 it's a bit slow there we go that's a bit better all right and just for those people who are just wondering what i just did and i just hacked my way out of that solution basically without keyframes i'm basically telling after effects to look at the time and then times it by 500 and that is the number that i'm getting here in the expression uh in the expression and that's basically it that's how you basically get text to follow the curves well, that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate the time that you've put in to actually watch this video. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you can click that subscribe button and click that like, and even share this video around to people who might actually be one to get into After Effects, but are finding it a little bit daunting. I know your mom, your dad, who whoever you want to get into After Effects, send them this video their way. And there's probably some other videos around here that you can click on if you want to try and catch up with some other stuff as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, After Effects is not for editing. Peace.